good morning friends this is the latest news coming from indian express explained where the headline mentions vaccine makers had sought funding help market access opens up revenue source the change in rules would effectively enable the health ministry to make advance payments of the rupees 3000 crore to serum institute of india and 1500 crore to bharat biotech for procuring vaccines the finance ministry has relaxed rules to make advance payment to covid-19 vaccine manufacturers in order to speed up the vaccine procurement process the change in rules would effectively enable health ministry to make advance payment of rupees 3000 crore to serum institute of india and 1500 crore to biotech for procuring vaccines the government had decided to open up vaccination to those above the age of 18 years and to allow manufacturers to release around 50% of doses to the open market This would allow vaccine makers to charge a higher price than rupees 150 per dose that they would get under the government's immunization program which is seen as a point of contention among global vaccine manufacturers. The decision follows report of shortage of vaccines for priority groups in states like Maharashtra at a time when there is a push for faster vaccinations amid a surge in daily cases. SII and Bharat Biotech have been unable to cope with the rise in demand for Covishield and Covaxin and have been seeking additional grants to scale up production. Sources said central government rules do not permit advance payment without vendor providing a bank guarantee. This key hurdle has been lifted for vaccine procurement. Normally, under the government's payments rule, no advance payment is allowed. an advance payment can can be done against a bank guarantee in this case we have made this relaxation that advance payment can be made for procuring vaccines without any bank guarantee government sources said this is for an amount of rupees 3000 crore to serum institute of india and about 1500 crore to bharat biotech basically this speeds up the vaccine procurement process we have communicated this to the health ministry <coughs> which will operationalize it the union budget for 2021-22 had allocated 73931.77 crore to the ministry of health and family welfare much of which is expected to go towards the covid-19 vaccination program The government also said on Monday that vaccine makers would be allowed to provide 50% of their supplies to state governments and open market after transparently making an advance declaration of the price before May 1 while remaining 50% is expected to go to the center the announcement potentially gives vaccine manufacturers freedom to demand a higher price in state bids and private procurement private hospitals would have to procure exclusively from the 50% supply earmarked for those other than the government private vaccination providers shall transparently declare the self set vaccination price sii ceo adar punawala had suggested earlier this month that the government's increased demand for covid shield had added to struggles to ramp up supplies and he was therefore seeking around 3000 crore from the government to expand the company's very stretched capacity bharat biotech too had reportedly sought funds in order to rapidly scale up production capacity to around 700 million doses annually from the 200 million doses at present last week it received around 65 crore as grant from the government towards this end punawala has also vocal about the firm's inability to make enough from the government's price for covid shield to invest in producing more doses this is expected to be potential concern at a time when india is trying to increase its vaccine supply by opening up to foreign vaccines like russia's sputnik 5 pfizer's vaccine with biontech and johnson and johnson single dose vaccine for instance the russian direct investment fund had announced that the price of single dose of sputnik would be less than 10 dollar that means around 750 
rupees. Executive at Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, which will distribute Sputnik 5 in India, said last week that they were in discussions with the government over price and the number of doses that would be required. DRL has said that it plans to begin importing doses of the vaccine from Russia this financial quarter between April and June. Johnson & Johnson said this month that it planned to conduct bridging studies of its vaccine in India in order to seek emergency use authorization. There are indications that discussions could take place with Pfizer, which was the first company to approach India for EUA, with, with, but withdrew its application in February after the regulator insisted on local trials. In the US, Johnson & Johnson has agreement to provide 100 million doses at $10 each, while Pfizer has priced its two-dose vaccine at $19 each, and that means around $14.60 a dose. In the European Union they reportedly renegotiating the price of charge of €19.50, around $17.57 a dose in 2022. Thank you.